Yeah, Alicia and Keenan, good morning. The reason the utility company says this is a historic storm is the sheer amount of ice buildup on those wires. They say it impacted infrastructure in a way they haven't seen in decades, and that's why so many crews were out yesterday and today continuing to work to get that power back on. And as you and also Kevin mentioned, despite it being really cold this morning, the conditions this weekend, we have the, the low wind gusts and the slight warm up that we're expecting this weekend has the utility company optimistic for those restoration efforts and progress can really not come soon enough for the thousands of people waking up in the dark this morning. DTE energy crews with their hands full Thursday in the aftermath of a storm the utility company hasn't seen in 50 years. We had ice that was between a quarter of an inch almost to three quarters of an inch of ice and uh, that takes down infrastructure everywhere. This morning, more than 500 customers still in the dark. Johnny Quapis of Livonia making the best of things, even without a generator. Got the fire going in the fireplace, and we went out now and got some warm food with Whoppers, got some ice to put in the freezer. The biggest headaches Thursday, DTE says, were Livingston and parts of Washtenaw County, where ice buildup remained an issue and outages just continued to climb. In addition to line workers, DTE President Trevor Lauer says 3,500 DTE employees were helping cover restoration efforts for more than 200,000 homes and businesses in southeast Michigan. More employees joining that effort today. We've also taken the opportunity to open electrical equipment, and we've intentionally caused outages for some customers while we work on wire downs. Those intentional outages impacting up to 70,000 customers. The good news, Lauer says in our area, no injuries were reported due to outages or downed wires. Most of the ice has now melted, and despite the chill this morning, Lauer says this weekend poses a reduced risk of more outages. What I can assure you is that we are going to do everything we can to get the power back as quickly as we can, but in a safe manner. Now, you may be wondering at this point, because of these widespread outages, why is not all the infrastructure from DTE underground? Well, this was something that the company addressed yesterday. They say since the 70s, their infrastructure has been built underground. But what is not underground? The efforts that it would take to move all of that underground, the price tag and the environmental impact of that is just too hefty to take on. And what is not underground risks widespread outages. Again, the hope is that 95 percent of impacted customers have their power restored by Sunday. Of course, we're going to be watching those efforts all day today and throughout the weekend. We'll keep you posted as DTE continues this work. Reporting live this morning outside the headquarters here in downtown Detroit, I'm Jen Schantz for 7 Action News.